Hello and welcome back to Felix Doe TV on a sunny Monday morning. Today I've got two guests with me as you can see. I'll introduce them first by name. We have Becky, or Rebecca if she's not at work, <laughs> I'm informed, and Natalie. And Becky and Natalie have come in and they're from Home Start Suffolk Coastal. Uh, I don't know if anyone, I know you've been in Spotlight Magazine recently, because that's where I picked this up from, um, but I haven't heard of this, and it's a brilliant service, so I thought we'll get them in, so anybody can have a look at um, what they're offering. So, firstly, Natalie, mm -hmm. we'll go to you, Home Start Suffolk Coastal, as a general, what is it? Uh, we're a, a charity organisation. Uh, we, uh, our core service is, is training, looking for volunteers, training volunteers to support families with children, un, at least one child under the age of five, right. either in their home or um, at a family group and in the whole yeah. of Suffolk coastal area. And you run your family groups at different children's centres around? Yeah. In, yes, in Felixstowe we run a family group on Friday morning at the Oaks. Right. Um, and we also have some uh, family groups. We've recently opened one in Ipswich, on the eastern side of Ipswich, and we do one in Woodbridge, and um, we've also had one in Leyston as well. Right, so they're, they're widespread. So why would someone with a child under five necessarily need to come? What would be the reason why they would need to get in touch with you? Is there a well, range of reasons? Yes, I think it, it's we support families where, where parents are perhaps going through a bit of a difficult time. There okay. might be a range of reasons for that. Right. Um, there may be sort of mental health issues, postnatal depression, um, isolation, okay. um, you know, just lack of social local support um, from sort of family, not not accessing local sort of community groups and things. So um, we have volunteers, which Becky looks after the volunteer side. Uh, that support the families in their home, um, okay. or it may be that uh, coming along to a family group might be something that would um, benefit that particular family. So you would look at an individual case yeah, and definitely. then have a look at how, and you would tell me as well you support people that have had multiple births, that may yes. need a little bit of yeah. help and encouragement. Or, yes, and or I have a large number of children under the age of five or... Um, right. Yeah. So, so yeah, a whole a whole range of issues, and every, everyone is different, um, and so we look at that on an individual basis and what's best for them. Um, some families have just uh, home support, some okay. have just the group support, and some have a bit of both. Right. Um, so it's really up to, and, and we say we're both sort of coordinators, so we both sort of look after those and, and talk with them regularly about what's what's best for them really and how we can help. Okay, and that is, I assume, to move family on from needing you that is to get them to access what's actually yes. out there yeah yeah right. we say right from the start I think at the yeah. first first time we meet a family we often say our aim is to make ourselves redundant okay um, we don't want them to depend yeah no yeah. no but we want to support yeah, yeah. yeah. okay okay so and, and as going about a family or, or a, a mum or whatever they can get in touch with you. We're going to obviously put contact data that, but they can get in touch with you direct. They haven't got to be referred by anyone. No, we could, we've got a self referral system, or they or they can uh, contact a health visitor, right. uh, the local children's centre, um, if they were working with social services or or any professional agency. But yes, they can also self refer. Self refer. Or just give us a call, and we you know we can just talk to you about whether that's something you're interested in. Or whether it's something that will help. Them. Yes. Okay. So volunteers, coming on to Becky, um, you control all the, the volunteers. You were saying how many volunteers have we got at the moment? Approximately about 65. Right. So so each year our referral levels seem to be going up and up. We so you're always looking for people to volunteer. Mm -hmm. We support 109 families last year and we're expecting um, to get even more referrals this year. So well, we're, I imagine we're financial climate it. might yes. cause that as well. Yes. Okay. So, so if someone's, what experience do they need? How? Just as long as they've got um, a non-judgmental approach and some parenting experience, or be it either from being a parent themselves, having brought up stepchildren, foster right. carer, any parenting experience. Any parenting experience. Mm -hmm. So if someone got in touch with you and said, could they sort of say to you, well, I work, so I can volunteer, but I've only got 
be spending hours? Yeah, or? we do ask that the volunteers have two to three hours a week. To well, spend. Oh, that's as little as that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we hope that they'd be able to volunteer for a bit, approximately at least about a year. Right. So two okay. to three hours a because week. Because of the training, actually. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you put them through training. It's really good training. It's really thorough to equip them to be able to support a family. Everything from play ideas to safeguarding, to, you know, it's a really young, good so training course. It's a training yes. course, okay. And you would you would look at that with them, you would help them through that and it's support them all the way through? It's an accredited course as well, so it okay. might look good on a CV as well, so Open College Network Level 2. Okay. Um, and the course is either an intensive week course or we do just Fridays, or whatever, you know, so volunteers. Whatever's convenient. Can, uh, a choice for the volunteers to... Right, okay, okay. So anybody that wanted to volunteer, I know you've got a website, because I was looking mm-hmm. at it today, and we started with Coastal, but they just basically get in touch with you and have a chat. Yes. Fill out an application form. Yeah. And, and it could be somebody perhaps that had support before mm-hmm. from it. That's happened, yeah. 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 Right, and they've then gone to volunteer, yeah. which yes. would be... That'd be good, wouldn't yeah. it, really? That'd be great. Uh, we were also talking about fundraising, because you are a charity. Mm-hmm. Now you've had some help from lottery funding, which you're going to reapply for, but you also do fundraising events so people can get in touch, or if they want to run an event for you, can they do that? Um, they can. No, we're always well, you know, asking for any help with fundraising. We do a lot ourselves, don't we? And um, but um, just trying to have the combination of different events that sort of focus yeah. in different areas and, and different. Um, it reach different, I suppose, different <laughs> publics. So, so it can be anything from a cake stall, quiz um, night, quiz yeah. nights, yeah. Auction, um, auction of promises, you know, all, all sorts of, of things really. And it's just t- trying to get ideas, but also you do need people to put in the work, obviously. So, so if there's anyone interested in helping with that, that would be good as well. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it's a whole whole range yeah. really of what you need you need help with, and you were telling me as well. Home start. This is home start stuff at Coastal, yes. but it's actually quite a wide thing. Home start, European and UK based, and then you run your own. Is that right? Home start. Um, started 40 years ago in Leicester. Right. But now there are hundreds of schemes. So we're Suffolk Coastal and we support yeah the whole coastal area. Okay. And we're just moving um, a pilot scheme in East Ipswich as well. Right, so you're going to actually spread out. Yeah. So you're going to need more volunteers, I assume, yeah, to reach <laughs> to reach everybody. Okay, and um, what also about if someone was perhaps experiencing problems, they wanted to come to you for support, but they were in fear of perhaps other people finding out they didn't want to find out or things being taken further. How are you regulated? We we have our own quality assurance at Home Start UK. Right. So we are, you know, we um, have an inspection every I think three years mm. to, to make you know make sure standards are maintained. Okay. But um, you know, it's a very professional. We work very closely with um, children's centres. Sometimes we get referrals from social services. So we're quite respected. Right. You know, Suffolk Coastal, especially. You know, we. Um, we do work very closely with other agencies. Excellent. And it's very professional. So you're there really to, to support when the other, because mm-hmm. a lot of the other agencies are pushed now. Mm-hmm. Yes. Obviously they can only give us so many services, so then they could also ask out, refer on to you to say, can you support this person or these yeah. people? Yeah. And I assume it's the same as well for any dads that are out there that need support. Yeah, we do. Mm-hmm. We have a dad at our family group. Um, you do? In fact, a couple of our groups have had dads in the past as well, so it's, it's not just... Mums. It's just just mm-hmm. mums, it, it's dads as well. Sometimes it's harder for dads to feel they can get in touch. Yeah. Have we got any male volunteers or is it all female? Um, no, we, we, we've had inquiries from male volunteers but we haven't for a, quite a while, have we? So it would be quite um, good if we could manage to get uh, yes. any male volunteers because I think sometimes that may help any, because there are quite a few single dads, aren't there now? Yes. You seem to see yes. more of it. And that would be quite a good thing. But what we're going to do, we're actually going to put up um, all the contact details because you're also telling me you're moving office, which is causing a bit of an issue (laughs) with contact. Um, You have got an email address, haven't you? Yeah, and you've got a telephone number. Obviously, as well, if people ever try to get in touch, they can go to a doctor, children centre, school, whatever, visitor. health visitor, and, and, and they're, you're online yes. at Suffolk Coast Home Start. So we will put the contact details on this um, video and if anybody wants to. Obviously, again, we always say if anybody struggles, wants to get in touch, you can always ring here and we'll put you in touch as well. Mm-hmm. 
uh, volunteers, please, 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 it's a, a really worthwhile thing to do. Um, especially for anyone, perhaps, I was just sort of thinking aloud with grown up children that has more time now and has perhaps mm. gone through it. And to give that experience to other people to see, look, you do come out at the other end. Um, we'll put all the contact details online and we will update the phone number in June. Yes. Because you're moving in June. Yeah. So just keep an eye and we'll update that. But um, definitely a worthwhile thing. Anybody who needs support out there or anybody who could volunteer for you. I hope you do get some volunteers. But I thank you very much for coming in, both of you. It's lovely to meet you. And um, let's fingers crossed.